peer review, once you've identified why you would like to engage in peer review, um, the next question that you would ask yourself is, well, what is it that I would like to be reviewed? Um, often, when people ask this question of themselves, it really um, brings to mind um, the classroom situation, which is more around the idea of, of observation and peer observation. But when we are thinking about um, peer review, we're actually broadening our horizons and just thinking beyond the classroom to capture um, all the things that um, academics would participate in when they are thinking about learning and teaching. So I'll just give you a few examples of the kind of things that can be encompassed. So for example, um, an idea could be that um, you are developing a new unit and you've prepared your unit guide, but prior to release of the unit guide, you'd like some feedback. So this is an ideal opportunity to engage in peer review because then you can um, actually find someone who would actually be able to sit down with you, look at your unit guide and give you some really helpful feedback on areas for development. Now that's quite broad, but we can also be a little more focused as well. So for example, you might think, I'd really like somebody to look at, my, uh, at the learning outcomes for my unit or even for the whole of my programme if you are a programme director. Um, and so again, you can actually, you might, this might be a group peer review or it could be a one-on-one -on -one peer review and you could ask somebody to offer feedback on the construction of your learning outcomes. Another um, area where you could do something a little bit more focused as well is in assessment tasks. You could ask somebody, for example, to say, do my assessment tasks really support um, the learning outcomes that I've identified for my students? Um, there are other situations that we could turn to as well for peer review. So many academics now are teaching online and um, often it's, it's, you know, when you're working online yourself, you actually need another pair of eyes. You need somebody to kind of see the things that you might not be able to see yourself. And particularly the way that the students are engaging with the material, we're always very familiar with what, we, what we're using and what we put there. So it's good to get you know, a fresh view and make sure that the way that is presented for students is the way that we would like it to be. And that's another ideal opportunity for peer review, get somebody to have a look at your online unit. Um, for those of us who are um, teaching in um, practice context, for example, if you are working in a laboratory or using equipment, that again is a time when we might ask for particular input from our colleagues. Um, for myself as well, um, for example, if you are supervising students in practice in a teaching context, you might like somebody to come and observe you and uh, determine whether or not, um, for example, you are providing supportive and helpful feedback to your students when they're in a teaching situation. There's a whole range of things that lend themselves to um, opportunities for peer review. So identifying you know, what it is that you need is really useful because then it lends itself to deciding, well, who might be the best person or people to help and support me in this process.